Okay, um, I'm going to start. So, today um, I've got a little sequence of parts of exercises to bring you. Um, I'm sure you'll work out what's going on when I, uh, when I teach it to you. But um, let's start with a bit of warm up first. So, in your space, we'll do what I um, have enjoyed doing the last couple of times. So palms on the lower back, warming the space in on the back. Sorry, just one other thing. I've got a heater running there. And standing um, with that feeling of something coming up the front and something going down the back. So shoulders are dropping down the back. Uh, tailbone is tossing under. Arches of your feet are lifting. The front of your body is lifting. There's a smile on your face and the back of your head is just lifting up. Hands on your lower back. Eyes gaze down, head bow. Relax your head and neck. Allow the weight of the head to take the body down. Tucking the tailbone under, bending the knees. Allowing your palms to um, drift down your legs. Palms come around as much as you can under your arches and as you're coming up allow the palms to stroke up your legs up the front of the body around the back of the head and letting go at the top and we'll do that again so palms on your lower back eyes gaze down head bows allow the weight of your head to take the body down palms are stroking down the back of your legs and into Palms come around under your arches, and as we come up, the palms are stroking the front of your legs, the front of your torso, round the back of your head, and up, 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 into your vertical. One more time. Head bows, eyes gaze down. Allow the weight of the head to take your body down. Bring your palms as near your arches with your feet, and stroking up. Up the torso, around the chest, round the back of the neck, neck, round the back of the head, and up. Good. Okay. The pointing exercise: so finding a spot near your left foot and allow your arm to be in a nice loose line with all your fingers and your thumb pointing to that spot, and brushing your fingertips along the floor. Reaching out with your imagination, feel the extension of your arm and your fingers. Reaching up, reaching up to the wall, up to the ceiling, beyond your ceiling, and then slowly coming down. Reaching down, 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 reaching away, reaching down into the floor where you came from. And then over to the left, reaching out uh, if you have your left arm moving, that is. Reaching out, feel those golden threads lifting your arm and then bringing that arm back down. Good. And allowing your arm to feel loose by your side. Right arm. So reaching all your fingertips to a spot on the floor. And we're going to brush our fingertips forwards, really feeling what's on your floor, all the patterns, the carpet, the floorboards, the skirting boards up the wall. See what you can touch. Keep going up, 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 up. And of course, we're not restricted by our room. I've got a very small room with a short ceiling. And coming down and down and down, rushing down, rushing down the wall, feeling that length through your fingertips, feeling that nice warm sensation, or that tingly sensation, or your fingers getting nice and flat. And then let's go out to the side, brushing your fingertips up the wall, streaming energy out through your fingertips, something coming back. Coming up to the ceiling, 
and then coming down. Really keep your imagination strong. Remember we're exercising the imagination as much as we are the physical body, or maybe even more. Imagination is important. Okay, good. Um, left arm, <clears throat> we're going to brush um, our fingertips. We're going to reach our fingertips down to the left foot and brush our hand out to the side, palm facing down. And we're going to stop or pause when we get to the horizontal. So just staying put for a moment, feeling the stream of energy going out through your uh, arm, your palm, and your fingers. And then imagine a stream of energy coming back in. And we'll do the same on the right side. So if the right fingertips brush, um, reach down towards your right foot and brush along the floor and the wall. And then you come to this lovely place where you're streaming energy out of your fingertips and something is coming back in and meeting your heart space. So feel that connection to infinity and that connection coming back in and meeting in your heart. And then bring your arms down. Left hand, reaching down to the floor by your left foot, brushing your fingertips along the floor, the wall, and up. And aligning yourself with your star or your destiny. Feel that streaming in through your left hand. And then join your right hand to meet it. So brushing your fingertips along the floor, along the wall, and strengthening that connection. So two arms up, really feeling that connection with your destiny, with your alignment. Bright palms facing forward. Feel that connection down into the earth and up towards your star. And then bring your arms. Folding your palms into a fist, so bringing your fingers in, crossing your hands and your arms across your chest and bowing your head. Just take a moment to tune into how this feels compared to reaching out to the horizontal and reaching up to the vertical. So our head is bowed, our palms are in a fist, our arms are crossed. Just notice how you feel in this position. Is there a huge potential waiting to explode? Do you feel cut off? Or do you feel like you've got your own inner power? And then unfold your fingers. And this time, bringing your arms across your chest, but your palms and fingers are open. So palms open, fingers along your chest, and your head is bowed. And just tune into how this feels. Head is bowed, our arms are crossed, but we don't have our uh, hands in a fist, they're open palms against our chest. What's the difference in feeling here? What are we saying to the universe through our movement as we come into this position as opposed to the closed foot? Okay, and then opening out. I'm just going to adjust my camera slightly. I think it's a bit tilted down. And I'm going to talk you through a very short sequence. And like I said, it's a few of the exercises um, chopped up all together. So we're going to start with a fall, but we're just going to fall into the fall and not do anything else. So palms facing forward, arms coming up, horizontal and overhead. Coming up onto our toes, if you can, and then falling into that space in front of you, being caught by the feather bed underneath. And from here, we're going to bring our back foot in and our hand into a fist, and we're going to go into a slow motion jump to the middle point, here. And then we're going to bring that foot down, open our palms and our arms to the horizontal. And we're going to go into another jump to the middle point with the other foot, but it's a slow motion one. So jump to the middle point on the other leg. And then 
putting that leg down, opening up, arms facing forward, arms up. And we're going to swing our arms down like we do in the eagle, but we're going to come into the plunge. So hands forming a fist behind you, one knee coming up, arms coming up behind you, coming up onto your toes and stamping that foot down. When we've released, we're going to go into a fall to the point. Coming into our fall to the point, and we're going to take three breaths here. One, pigeon step, two, and three, we open out into the start of the lion. Arms facing up. We go into the lion. And we open out from here and go straight into the eagle. Going into the eagle, arms reaching up, arms reaching out, turning our palms, feet together, and we close. Okay, so I'll talk you through it several times until you get to the feeling of it. So starting with the fall, palms reaching down, palms facing forward, reaching up, 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 and falling into the space in front of you, catching yourself on the horizontal, bringing the back foot in to a slow motion jump to the middle point with one leg, opening out, arms horizontal, jump to the middle point on the other leg, hold your jump to the middle point for a moment, Opening out, arms up to vertical. Arms reach forward, we're going into a plunge. Then one knee comes up, arms are in, hands are fist behind you, and you release that. And then coming into your fall to the point, into a little ball, knees are up near your chest and palms are around your knees. Taking three steps here. Breathing step, one, two, and then coming out to the start of the lion, turning your palms, head bows, going into your lion or your extended width. And then going into your fall from the height. And finishing there. Okay, a few more times. So we've got it in ourselves. Fingers reaching down, palms face forward, coming into the fall, into space, reaching up, falling into space. From here, our back leg comes into a jump to the middle point. We open out. To the horizontal, another jump to the middle point on the other foot, open out, come up to vertical, and we fall, I mean we plunge, and we stamp out of it, and then here we fall into the point, taking three of these breathing steps, Up to the start of the lion. And then the eagle. Good, nice. Let's do it again. Fingertips reaching down, palms facing forward, coming into our fall into space. Falling into space, catching ourselves on that horizontal, coming into a jump to the middle point, with the back leg coming into a chest. 
opening out the horizontal and then coming into another jump to the middle point on the other foot. Opening out the vertical, arms reach forward and you're doing the plunge, uh, the final bit of the plunge here. And then we're doing the fall to the point. Three steps to try and get us out of it. A pigeon steps if you don't have much room. And then coming up to the start of the line. Okay, good. Let's just do it one more time um, without me speaking if you can remember it all. So, starting um, at the back of your space. Starting with the four. Very nice, good. Um, please come up to your screens. I want to talk to us a little bit about it. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, in our time um, these days, I I feel um, because we're all. Um, Kind of confined to our houses. Um, I know many of you might think we're asked to go inward, and I thought, well, what? How could we express this through movement? And what are the exercises? Where are they going in and going down and coming inward and going grounding ourselves? What? Where are these expressions of movement within our exercises? So, as you probably noticed, I um chop them up and put them together. And also it fits with, um, <clears throat> we're now entering Holy Week and um, I went to church quite a lot in Holy Week as a child. And this is all about recognizing um, the suffering of Jesus. So this is another time of coming in and looking inward and um, looking for the strength within. Um, so that's why I kind of put these two things together. What's happening in the world, um, at this point in time and what's happening in this week with our yearly cycle. Um, so that's where these things came from. And um, I started doing these exercises and I thought, oh, it's really actually quite depressing and down doing all these inward and down parts of the exercises without the, much of the uplift. And then I thought, actually, after practicing it for a bit, I actually really liked it and found there was such a power and strength within you and it's reconnecting to your own source and um, connecting through yourself, through that inner expression to the world outside. So that's my thinking and that's where I got to. Um, I would quite like to hear some reflections on that. Maybe if I can unmute you all. Um, 
Let me just. Oh, I don't know if I can unmute everyone. Katie, can you unmute people? Okay. okay. Yeah, so I've, I've uh, unmuted everybody, and uh, later I'm, I'm pretty sure you you can too. Um, it'll just be a, a hidden button somewhere. Okay. But yeah, everybody is now unmuted. If you feel that there's a lot of noise in your um, household or in your room, then uh, please mute yourself. Uh, just just to help keep the flow. Um, thank you. Uh, Susan, you're still spotlighted as a video. Would you like me to switch that over? Uh, yes, please. So that means that we'll see whoever's talking uh, rather than. Right. Um, yeah. Great. So can you remind us the question and then. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I, I was, you know what? It's quite a lot to digest. I think um, we might, if no, no one's got anything now we'll bring it back on Wednesday and um, after you've had a go with it quite a few times. So it was just really um, to check in and see if you've got any thoughts um, around the little sequence that we just did. Well, I really enjoy all the exercises, how you join them. Um, and also at the beginning when we did this with the fist, it felt like a close, but also close to myself. Like while, while I was like this, I, it felt close, but in a way open to myself. That's, that's how I felt it. Um, yeah, and I, I really enjoy how all the exercise um, met together. <laughs> Thank you. I am um, the, the way the, oh, hang on. I'm trying to do too many things. Here we go. Um, I really appreciated the sequence and um, this, this, what you were just showing, um, Olivia, uh, in, in psychotherapy, it's called the butterfly hug, what we were doing here. And if you have your fingers together and you have your hands just underneath your collarbone, and then you rhythmically tap on the heart chamber, and that can bring a lot of calm to the body quite quickly. So when we were in that position, I just did it a little bit. Um, and I was like, ah, oh, this is nice. It's kind of like I'm in, but I'm at the same time connected to my heart, which is obviously the horizontal plane. And um, well, connects on the horizontal with our arm. I also really appreciated when we were doing the arm exercises and the imagining the light and the streaming force coming in and meeting here and, and going through here. Because obviously some people, when when they lift their shoulders, they like lift their shoulders and so and then the stream comes in more at the neck. Whereas when 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 it was really bringing in that heart idea, it was like, oh, yeah, the arms really, they actually live here, which is from the from the they, they extend from the heart. They don't extend from the shoulder. They they extend from the heart. And that, that just came in my mind uh, much more clearly today. Um, I also found it very interesting that we both did eagle and lion exercises today. I think there must be uh, more of an etheric uh, space where we plan from yeah. <laughs> without, yeah. without communicating that we're, without verbally communicating what we're going to be doing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I felt that uh, the eagle especially is really uh, the exercise for this time. I, I really felt it when I did it with Katie. Unfortunately, the second time I was dizzy because I haven't had my porridge. <laughs> it was a long sequence, but I, I noted it down and I will do it afterwards and uh, feel how it feels the whole together. But I, the, the eagle, um, it was really like 
talking to me. This is the exercise uh, for this time now. I, I completely agree, Anita. I've been thinking about that as well. Um, and I think it's almost like our society is in that evil position now. You, you can't hear me. Um, I'll try and speak loudly and clearly. Um, I feel like our um, society is in, like collectively we're in the evil position. And if you're up there streaming in your own truth, um, and everyone around you is in the evil. It's like, well, what, what's going on? What, why don't you just um, come and join me here? But in order to help them, we've got to go into the evil to help bring everybody out, like the collective out of it. And I also um, heard something very fascinating the other day about um, the coronavirus, how it started um, in bats, and what the bats, connection is or what we can learn from bats and bats are creatures that hang upside down and have a very different perspective on the world so everything is like upside down for them and they use their senses in a much different way it's like a heightened way and I thought oh maybe we do need to go into the eagle have a look around and um, help us get out it with a new understanding or a new way of looking at Nice, Anita. Thank you for that. Yeah. Okay, shall we finish um, quickly? We'll do the sequence again twice and then we'll finish the session. Thank you for your input. I'll just mute everybody again now to make sure that Susan's screen is the main one. So Susan, when I've done that, you'll just need to speak to bring it on to you. Okay. So we'll start the sequence and we'll do it together twice. I'll talk to you and then we'll do it in our own time for the final. So fingertips reaching down to the floor, palms facing forward, coming up and going into a four. Catching yourself on the horizontal, bringing the back foot in to a full uh, jump to the middle point. And then bringing the other foot in to jump to the middle point, coming in, 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 in towards the center. Arms coming up to the top. And we have palms coming down. It's like the eagle, but we're going to go into the plunge. So fist behind us, stamping into a plunge, and falling into the point. Taking one breathing step, taking another breathing step, opening out onto the horizontal, and starting your line. And going into your eagle. And again, last time.
Good. Thank you. Well done, everyone. Nice to see you all.